Hey, what up, guys? It's Brandon here, and welcome to my new playthrough of pretty much the Sonic Advance trilogy. It's the final game of the trilogy, basically, where we play Sonic Advance 3. So, this is my favorite Sonic Advance game out of the three, um, yeah, pretty much out of the three games, pretty much. And I truly love this game, basically. But I'll give you guys my, um, you know, all my thoughts and all that. Well, my initial thoughts, I guess you could say, in this first episode. But, we're gonna get right into it here, and, um, yeah, it's, it's awesome though, but um, yeah, so this is basically, well, this game is about to turn 20 years old basically, um, and I basically told you guys I was going to start this playthrough on, on last Wednesday, but I had to push it back because of my, because of the cold I've had, and I'm still like dealing with coughs a little bit, so if I end up coughing like here and there, then I apologize, but I mean, it's not bad anymore though, which is good, so, but I just want to give you guys a little update on that either way, and that's basically why you guys are getting this playthrough started today instead of last Wednesday, pretty much. So, um, yeah, you guys know, um, 2021, I, I did the first Sonic Advance on the channel, then last year, literally just last year, like, felt like I just did the playthrough, I did Sonic Advance 2, which is, um, honestly the most frustrating Sonic Advance game out of all three of these games, but here we have Sonic Advance 3, I really like this menu here where the child is looking at the, um, the menu here and I and I truly love how the music with that the music is the um was that the music is the um chow race music pretty much whenever you're um doing the chow race in Sonic Adventure 2 and all that so it's pretty cool so we're obviously gonna go to the main game here and if you want to do battle you just go um I guess connect um pretty much do connection and all that like yeah obviously like you use the game pack or whatever like and all that so if check communication please wait obviously can't do that with the with the emulator though so anyways we're gonna get right into it here and um, basically we're just gonna just get into it. So, but yeah, multiplayer, there's multiplayer and single player. <coughs> Sorry, I had a cough, of course, so I apologize. I'll try my best not to cough, though, like I said. But, there's a lot of things I truly love, and the, and the main reason why I love this game more than the first two games is because of the fact that you get to actually have two players, two, um, two people with you. So, that's just pretty awesome. You get like a partner with you in this game, which is um, the difference between, um, you know, um, pretty much obviously the first um, two Sonic um, Sonic Advance, Advance games basically so it's kind of hard to talk to but um you guys know the first two Sonic Advance games had um, had that same um that same music when, when you're selecting a character now here it actually has this music which is pretty awesome so because I'm just used to this music too so we're gonna get right to it here we're gonna select Sonic okay. and see look now you get to actually select a partner too so we do not have Knuckles Cream or Amy, so that's that's what's pretty awesome too. Is that um, you guys remember in Sonic Advance 2, there was no Amy, obviously. So um, it was Sonic Tails, Knuckles, and um, Cream, pretty much, right? Well, I, I wouldn't say it's obvious. I didn't even know Amy wasn't even in, in the second game. But now we have all five characters here. You know, after um, Amy was left out in the second game, pretty much. So we're basically gonna have Tails selected here. Basically, have Sonic and Tails right off the bat here, pretty much. And look at that, Unbreakable Bond. I just like how it's how it, um, how it shows that. It'll show like um, something like that. But the evil scientist Eggman. Dr. Eggman is planning to use the Chaos Emeralds to build Eggman Land. Yeah, Eggman Land. Sonic and his friends must put a stop to his evil scheme. What will happen next? It's like I gotta read that slowly. <laughs> so look, I like how it shows this like you guys saw obviously in the intro. It shows basically what you guys saw in, in that intro, pretty much. That yeah, Eggman's gonna hit the button and all that. Like, I'm just, so, I just, I just love the intro the most out of all of the intros I love in, um, in all these Sonic Advance games. This one's my favorite. Like, seriously. Like, this is the game I truly grew up with, though. And see, now we're actually in the game now, and um, it's pretty awesome. So this, so there's just a lot I have to talk about, basically. So, but yeah, um, I mean, you could do Sonic and Tails. You could do Tails and Sonic. You can even have like, like for example, you could do Knuckles and Cream or something like that. So that's what's pretty awesome is that you get to actually have a partner with you like this, and that's why I truly love this game as well. So there's like different attacks and stuff. So you can press B with Sonic and he'll do like some kind of kick attack or whatever. And then if you hold down the R button, I believe you hold down like this. Look at this. So Sonic will like hold Tails like a ball, and you can jump with him. If you jump with him like this, Tails will actually go and carry Sonic. So. This, that's the part that kind of get, get um, that I get confused about, but um, it's pretty awesome though. So this is basically the HUD world. So yeah, that, that's right. There's actually HUD worlds in this game, and that's why I love this game the most as well. So um, and then we have this like this locked um thing, but I never knew I never know how to get these. So maybe we'll eventually get that, but 
let's just go and just you know kick things off here. We're gonna we're gonna go and like actually talk to these Omo Chows basically, and we're just gonna see what they say. So look, this is a factory ring. You could change characters in there. Yep, I'll show you guys that later. Just not yet though. And then um, yeah, keep pressing the partner button to use your tag attack tag action. So yep. So I never I didn't know how to fully do this at first, but look at that. Wow, like, like I just get a boost from tails like that. If you, so. It, it depends on like if you're jumping in the air by using the partner button and um, like if you jump like this tails will be carrying you but if you just stand on the ground here that's how um, you get like kind of some kind of like boost like that so it's pretty pretty crazy though actually I'll just show you guys the factory thing already you know but um, route 99 is the first zone in the game pretty much I mean you guys already see by title but um, right in here is where you get to go and switch your characters so it's pretty um <coughs> pretty awesome so but um and then up here, you guys can see right here, there's all these like box or TV box or whatever the heck they are. But, um, I mean, I already know what they are. Select the zone. That's basically what it says right there, which means that you could actually go and travel to different zones like this if you were to go in here. So, it's pretty awesome because, like, before in the first two Sonic Advance games, you get to select, you, you, all, you, all you did was select which zone you want to go to or what stage and all that. And they kind of had, like, I mean, you guys saw there was, like, a, kind of like a, it was kind of like a world map or whatever. Um,. Kind of like some kind of map, kind of, in Sonic Advance 2, kind of looking like Sonic Adventure 2, you know? But, use this to travel to different zones. Yeah, that's basically what that is there. And then, right over here, this is Chow's Playground. So, yeah, if you go in here, look at this. So, this is like a Chow Playground. Kind of reminds me of, pretty much reminds me of Chow Garden, right, basically. But, it's Chow Playground. And what it is, is that, you, there's Chow you have to actually rescue in each zone. So, if you were to go select... Um, you hit select it shows um, I guess like um, where the chows are there's like what like in, in this first zone there's three chow in act one three in act two three in act three and then um, the one that says M means that there's actually chow on the map so and then you gotta go go back by pressing select which it says right there so each zone has their has like different chow and all that so I'll we'll come back to there once we get some chow but anyways we're just gonna go in um and, and right here if you go right here obviously Yep, if you go up, you can change characters. Yep, all that. So, it's just awesome, though. I, I, all the all the music in this game is so memorable as well. So, all we gotta do is jump here, and then you just gotta break this, basically. So, you're probably wondering, how are we supposed to get through there? But that's basically what you gotta do. And then the switch here gets the spring out like this, which is pretty awesome. Um, like, all these, all these sounds and, like, different gimmicks and stuff are just so memorable to me, though. Like, especially that, ee, that, that noise there, too. So, yeah, Route 99... This is basically like, um, it's like basically the HUD area, basically, like there's always going to be clouds in the background and all that. And then here is a ring that says one on it, right? Well, this is an act ring. This will take you to, to an act map. There are acts one to three. Yep, that's basically what it is. And that's what's awesome. Like there's act one here, then you got act two, you got to find, you got to figure out where act two is. And then there's act three and all that. So that, I, I just love that. I just love how they have these HUD areas that you can just jump around and stuff. So, and, it, and it, it always plays the music of what the stage is. So, and then when you go into the stage, you hear the music, um, like this. So, we're just going to get into it right now. And here we go. Well, I mean, you guys already saw it anyway at the beginning. So, here's Route 99, basically. Route 99 is such a memorable stage, though. Like, seriously. And look, there's our first chow. So, there we go. Found a chow. So, it's, it's like, I always like how it always makes the chow noise. Look how Sonic's just running so fast like right there. But, nine chow left. So, um... Yeah, it's pretty crazy though. Oh, Tails just got hit by him though. I mean, Route 99 is the easiest stage in the game, but I just I just love how it's the first. I don't know, I'm just so used to it being the first stage in a Sonic game, honestly. So, and I did tell you guys in my update video that um, this was like the first ever Sonic game I actually owned because um, my sister originally owned because she was the one who actually got me in so got me into Sonic in the first place. She, um, she was the one who originally owned Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes. You know, those 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 games that I played, I've I've always loved. They're, they're like my favorite games and all that. But it's pretty awesome. And then look, another Chow here. See, there we go. Chow! See, eight Chow left. So, I mean, that it basically counts down how many Chow are left in a zone, basically. And it's best not to stand right there because you're going to get crushed, which I end up making that mistake before when I was younger. But I ain't messing up on that, so. Oh my god, I just, I said I'm not going to mess up on getting crushed, and look what happened. Wow. Who would have thought I was going to die on the first stage of the freaking game? 
Freaking ridiculous. Oh my god, dude. I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but somehow it did. I didn't, well, I didn't even expect it. So, luckily you don't have to collect the chow again when you, if you die. So, I'm going to be very cautious here because I should have known. Just do that because I'm, I'm not going to take any chances. Oh, man, I should I would have been able to jump up there. Oh, well. You got to react quick enough. I'm sure one of the chow was, was there, but whatever. So, but these, these these stages are just amazing, though. And I'm just, I just... I just love the music too. The music's just awesome. Du, 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 du. Like seriously, I really grew up with this game too. Like seriously. So, and like I told you guys, Sonic Advance 2 is the only Sonic Advance game really that I didn't really, really like. I never owned it, and I didn't really grow up with it at all. So, so I basically played on the emulator, and I told you guys how frustrating that game is. And look at that! I literally just got all the Chow in Act One just now. So that's pretty awesome. And there is one chow that's located on the, on the HUD world map. Um, once we're done with this, I'll maybe we'll find him. I don't know if we're gonna find him right away, but and it's kind of it's kind of cuckoo. Like like even though even though Tails is my partner, he's never usually around. Whenever I, I usually um unless it, well unless I do this obviously, then we'll have him right. See there we go. Oh shoot! All right, it's fine. That's all right. Oh yeah, I like I like these things here, but they kind of suck sometimes too. It's pretty much just like how you know the, how they have those gimmicks in um, Starlight Zone, for example. So it's pretty cool. And then there's the goal. So the goal is basically just a ring right there. And look at that. Sonic and Tails, Act One clear. So I got a silver medal basically. So you get a silver medal, a gold medal, and a bronze medal. And you, you, you and getting a gold medal, I forget what it does, but I I, th I guess it has something to do with getting um, maybe Chaos Emeralds, I'm sure, or trying to get get um, trying to unlock that thing that we were up at. So, um, I don't know, because you guys can see there's a key symbol and it says zero. I never really, were, I was never able to, you know, figure that out or even obtain a key at all in this game. But I assume it has something to do with getting, um, gold medals. So, but see, now you guys see there's a crown. There's like a crown symbol on top of the Act 1, which means that we cleared it, basically. So, I'm going to see if I could try to get, like, all the gold medals and, su and such. But I'm not going to do that right now at the moment. But, um, maybe eventually we'll come back to that. And see what happens. So, anyways, we're gonna figure out where Act Two is. But oh wait, no. First, we got these things. These things are actually um pretty awesome. So look at this. This is the mini game room. Challenge number will increase if cleared. Yeah. So there's two. There's actually two different mini game um UFO things or whatever. So we go on here, and look at that. It just like bring Sonic in there. It's pretty crazy. So we have defeat all the enemies. So um there's two. Yeah, like I said, there's two different ones. Um, I mostly like the other one better. The other one, this other one's where you have to like hit all the, um, oh dang it, Tails. Whatever, Tails. Alright, Tails just took my freaking, you know, lever, whatever. So you gotta kill all the enemies under a time limit. <laughs> and I'm coughing again, of course, I apologize. But, um, you just gotta kill all the enemies, basically, within a time limit. It's not that easy, though, honestly. Some of them are easy, but oh my god, if, if I keep screwing up like that, I've already wasted so much time and I can't, I can't like restart, so I, I have no choice but to actually go and, um, do this, so, I gotta be cautious, I'm, try, I'm trying to be very cautious a little bit, oh my god, stupid, thank you, oh my god, that was annoying, oh my god, you see how much time I wasted, I, I need four, I need to like get rid of four more, basically, oh wait, okay, I was hoping I could break this, so you can like jump into it and break it like that, which is pretty cool. But now I've just screwed up big time, so. Alright, see, I only got, like, all but one. So now I fail, and then once the time goes down, you can't move anymore, and it's just this time up, so. Um, usually you get extra lives, um, if you, if you complete it, but I, and I'm desperate for extra lives now, because I'm down to, like, one life. But of course I failed, so it's whatever. And then up here is Act 2. So there's Act 2 right here, so we're just gonna get right into it now. And, um, so that's one of the, um... Yeah, but um, one of the mini games right there. The other mini game, I, I like this. I like the other mini game better. The one where you actually go and um, hit these switches as fast as you can and get enough points to actually, you know, get um, to beat it. So, but here's Act Two. Um, music's different and all that. You know, it's pretty much how how you know how it's been um, with you know the first two acts and in, in the other Sonic Advance games and all that. So there you go. I, I just like I just like how when you get Chow, it's like Sonic just. Like free, he's, it's like he's just frozen in that state. Like, like it's just kookus. Now six more chow to go. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good collecting these chow though. 
I don't know what happens when you collect all the tail. I don't know if that has to do with the key, or is it, or if, or, or if it's, um, or if trying to get the key means that you have to go and, um, get those gold star, those gold, um, medals. And I think, no, getting the gold medals, you actually have to beat the levels as fast as you can, I guess. Um, at, in the quickest time, so. But, um, yeah, because I've noticed that, because I got gold medal after being a stage very fast. Um, it was in the third zone, actually. Um, you'll see what the third zone is going to be later. And you'll, and you'll see when we're going to unlock our character, the other characters, too. Because Knuckles will be, Knuckles is going to be the next character we unlock, basically. And luckily, we do not have to fight him. Because we had to fight him in um, Sonic Advance 2, I believe. So, um, it's hard to remember now, but I think we had to fight him in Sonic Advance 2. But we don't have to worry about doing any of that. He's just going to immediately join us. So, yeah, yeah, we did have to fight Knuckles. I know we did. So, which is pretty crazy. So, yeah, it's pretty, um, pretty interesting, though. But at least you start off with Sonic and Tails this time. Um, and, um, Cream is actually the last character we unlocked, by the way. So, which I guess makes sense, you know. But, um, because it was more, it was more crazy how Sonic, Sonic Advance 2, you unlocked Cream first. And then, um, Tails and Knuckles you unlocked, um, afterwards. Okay, I guess you gotta go down here now. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going sometimes with, the, with these stages. So. Plus, I haven't played this, I haven't played this stage really that much, though. So. But it's still very, it's still a very awesome stage overall, though. It, like, it, it definitely reminds me of, like, Station Square, for example, and all that, so. But, um, I don't know, I just like how they call it Route 99, like, like, why not Route 100? So. Oh, shoot! God dang it, I was trying to get up there. Hang on. I'm gonna try to figure that out, though. So, um, if I could try. Stupid platform. Oh my god. Oh well. I was I was gonna try, but, eh, whatever. But wait, it's over here, though. I'm just curious at this point. Okay, it's just that. I'm just trying to find some more chow if there is any more. I only got one chow in this second act, though. So. But overall, though, Sonic Advance 3 is just, an, just an, honestly an amazing Sonic Advance game. Like I said, it's my favorite out of the, out of the trilogy, pretty much. So. And, um, did I mention that it's turning 20 years old this Friday? I don't think I did. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this Friday, this game's already gonna be 20 years old, too. So, and I, and I definitely did not want to hold off on this playthrough, um, any longer. So, I wanted to start this before, you know, this Friday, June 7th, pretty much. So, this game really is about to turn 20 years old already, which, which is unbelievable. But, yeah. But, um, I mostly remember playing this game, um, like, maybe 2006, though. So, um, mostly when I was in kindergarten, that's for sure. So, um, it's an, <coughs> it's an awesome game, though. But, um, <coughs> sorry, I had a cough, of course. But, um, my cough's going away, though, I, I, I promise. Eventually, it'll be gone, but for now, you just gonna have to just put up with it. And that's also another reason why I wanted to, you know, that's mainly why I wanted to almost hold off on this again. But, yeah. So, um, other than that, though, I mean... Overall, it's just an amazing game, and you guys see how when Sonic goes fast like this, you guys see how like it shows um, like shows like, I guess like, like hologram. I guess you could say like little holograms of him or whatever behind him. Pretty much. Oh, I got. I just got um one up. Wow, just like that. That's nice. And yeah, give me that bronze medal. I knew it because I took I took a, my sweet ass time at that level. So I'm gonna have to try better at that. But that's whatever. So, but um. I mean, there you guys have it, so, yeah, but just like in Sonic Advance 2, like I said, um, how, how Sonic goes fast like that, and you guys see how, he, like, it showed, like, little, ho like, like, holograms behind him like that, and all that, that's basically how Sonic Advance 2 was and all that as well, so, but yeah, the good thing about this game, um, is uh, pretty much how it's easier, it's easier than, um, you know, the Sonic Advance 2, that's for sure, so, it's definitely not as frustrating, especially the bosses. You guys remember how the bosses were? Oh my god, dude. You're like, you're always running, and you always have to fight the bosses and all that crap. Like, oh my god. So, um, yeah, it was pretty wild. And look at that, now Sonic's falling asleep. Wake up, Sonic. <laughs> but, um, anyways, we're gonna move on to Act 3 here. I also realized that this is pretty much gonna take us the entire episode just doing this one zone, this, this first zone, which is pretty crazy, because the, the other two Sonic Advance games, I was able to actually, you know, beat the, um, beat the first two zones in, in the first episode, which is pretty crazy, so, but, um, not here, though, basically, I like, and what I love about, like, Axe 3 in these zones is that it, it plays, it starts off with, like, the music, like, starts off, you know, differently a little bit, like, in, I guess, like, at the middle part, like, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain, but it just, it's awesome, though, how, 
how it's always different like that, especially factory and all that stuff. So. Pretty cool though. So um, it's, it, it is kind of weird. It's like it's oh my, I think it's Mr. Chow. But it's funny how like each Sonic Advance game is like so different, like with acts and stuff. Because in, in the first Sonic Advance we had um oh come on I gotta get that Chow. But the first like the first Sonic Advance you had Act One, then Act Two where we fought the boss. So you had to fight the boss in Act Two. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Give me! You gotta be kidding me, man! All right, whatever. But yeah, like um, we had to deal with the boss in Act One, or Act Two, I should say. We you know we had two acts, fought the boss in Act Two, and then we move on to the next zone. Then Act Two, Sonic Advance Two, I should say. Um, you had to, we did the um, was it we did the first two acts, and then Act Three, we fought the boss basically. So um, but in this game. You, you do the first, you do acts one, two, and three, and then you fight the boss. And you'll figure, you'll see where the boss is going to be at, though. So it's not going to be like you, you jump into a ring or anything like that. Um, you'll see, you'll see what it's all about, so. But, um, he's not located in the HUD world or anything like that. Or Eggman, I should say. Because we're going to be fighting Eggman, like we always be, be doing um, in these other Sonic Advance games. So. But, um. No, here's the thing, though. We're going to fight somebody else as well. Not just Eggman, but we're going to be fighting somebody else, too. Um, I mean, he's not hes not as difficult, though. But you'll see how it's all going to be once we get there. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I mean, overall, though, these stages are just so memorable to me. And I truly love the next stage that we'll be going to as well. So it's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah. But, um... Uh, it's just it's something about this game that just like that just makes it so much fun too, you know. Like I don't know, honestly, like Sonic Advance One, it just it just feels like it just it did feel like too basic and boring a little bit. And then they made Sonic Advance Two like more I guess a little more fun like that. And then and, then, and I don't know I, feel, I just feel like the controls are like more better too like in these sec in these second and third games. Especially like I I noticed as well like in the in the first Sonic Advance when you run fast. Sonic, Sonic's, like, feet, of course, are, like, you know, like, donuts or something like that. And, I don't know, just, that's just how it all it was. But here, it's, like, Sonic, it's, Sonic runs like this, which is pretty awesome, which is also how it is in Sonic Advance 2. Because I didn't really get to point that out all that much, but that's basically how it is. Oh, crap. If I get it. Oh, my God. But, honestly, the, t the stages in this game are, are what's tough. It's, de it's definitely, the stages in the game are tougher than the bosses. Um, which is pretty much how how it also was in the first in the first Sonic Advance. Of course, Sonic Advance Two is completely different, like that, where you actually where the bosses are actually the the, the highlight of frustration. <laughs> I like how the Tails just like appears out of nowhere. So this is this is crazy. He's, it's not he's not even getting involved that much either. I'm trying to get him a little more involved, especially trying to use the uh, partner assist and all that, but I haven't been able to do that though. But there's still so much more to this game that I haven't even showed you guys yet either. So, um, like, um, like, each, each character has, like, their own different moves depending on what partner you have as well and all that. So it's not just, like, the partner moves and all that or, you know, even, like, like, Sonic's attack here, he, he does, the, he does, like, this drop kick, right? But Sonic has a different attack when you press B if you have Knuckles as your partner. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. And that's how it is as well when you have, like, when, when you have, like, um, somebody as your partner with, wait, if you're playing as Knuckles or, you know, all that. So I'll show you guys all that, though. Um, I don't know when though, but here is where you fight the boss. It's this Eggman UFO because like you guys saw we had those mini game, that minigame UFO. Here is an Eggman UFO basically. This is the boss room. You must clear three act maps to enter here. Yep, and that's what we did. So if you were to go up here before even beating all three acts, like you beat like only the first two acts, but you don't beat act three, this UFO is not even going to be, it's not even going to be flashing because it won't, it won't be flashing and, and you won't be able to get inside. So we're just going to just walk under here and there we go. So it'll, it'll just look like that if you approach the um if you approach the um, UFO there. So either way, we're gonna basically fight the boss here and finish off Route 99 here, the first zone of the game. So, well, boss is. So look at this. Look who we got here. We have this um this robot here, which um reminds me of that one robot in um Sonic Battle on the Game Boy Advance as well, which I haven't shown you guys that game. I haven't even played it in forever either. Like I never even play it anymore. It's crazy. But, um, he's pretty easy. You just can't attack him in the front, really. Kind of similar to... It's, he's kind of similar to the, um, that Mecha Sonic that you fight right before fighting the final boss in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But, 
He's pretty easy. I always be, I'm always able to be easily beat him there. But then he's just gonna go that way. And if you go a little further here, look at this. So there's Eggman, and then the robot's actually in there, which is pretty crazy. So um, he's got like, oh my god, and, I, and his, his moves are unpredictable too. But I really love this boss music. This boss music is actually pretty awesome. So right, there you go, nice. And you gotta hit him, basically. And, and I, I forgot to mention something else too. So in this game. The characters, the characters like talk as well. I mean, you guys heard Tails like okay, and Sonic's like okay, and all that. So, but Eggman goes like like ow, you little like he, he actually just says that stuff every time you hit him. So it's pretty um interesting. So now I gotta try to hit him without taking damage because now I have no rings, which sucks. But every time you move as well, this robot's gonna be facing you every time. Like you guys see how he's in there. It's pretty it's pretty crazy. So. He's always gonna be in these machines that Eggman has, so it's pretty um pretty interesting. All right, you just gotta make sure you don't back up too much. You gotta make sure you back up like at the right moment as soon as Eggman just brings down the hammer, though, because he'll just do that crap. He'll like he'll like reach out all the way out there like that. You just gotta like do that. And there we go. He's not dead yet though. Takes takes what more hits than that? I'm sure it takes like eight hits, like it always does. Like he always does, so. I bet you I'm gonna die by him, though. <coughs> Alright. That. Oh my. I thought he was dead for a second. Oh my god. Oh well. No, no, no. What, what threw me off is I thought that, um. I thought I couldn't, um. Control Sonic anymore because I thought he was dead. Because usually, if you beat Eggman, you don't, you don't move, actually. So. But we weren't able to do that, so. Two deaths in the first episode. That's pretty crazy. But then again, um, the first episode of Link to the Past, I did die twice, which is still kind of crazy when I was trying to rescue Zelda from the dungeon and all that. Um, the, was it the Hyrule Castle dungeon and all that? So, but, um, and I had to take her to the sanctuary and all that, but this is not about Zelda, this is Sonic, obviously, so. So we're gonna go and, um, try this again, hopefully. And, uh, and by the way, I've never beaten this game either. So yeah, of course, it's another, I've never beaten all the Sonic games, Sonic Advance games, until, um, you know, it's, it's like I'm, it's like the first time I beat these Sonic Advance games is when I do the playthroughs, basically, which is pretty wild. So, but yeah, because like, because here's the thing: there's there's one zone. I think it's the sixth zone in the game. It, it's it's honestly the worst. Well, the worst, um, in my opinion, so far. So far, though. But I, I I really I, I mean, it's it's really cool, but I, I truly can't stand it sometimes. It's very frustrating and all that. So. I don't know, it's just, it's just, you'll, you'll see when we get there, though, but I can never get past, like, the third act, because I would always, I would always end up falling in a bombless pit and all that, so, which is, what you guys saw, it was like that non-stop, especially at, um, Sky Canyon Zone, I believe it was, in Sonic Advance 2, so, um, and it happened a few times as well with Techno Base Zone, too, so, pretty ridiculous, but, um, either way, we're gonna go, um, Hopefully be Eggman here though. All right. Um, I have nothing really else to say overall though. Um, I mean this boss isn't too bad though. Oh my god. Well, as soon as I said that. Oh my god, dude. Just keep the rings. I, I'm trying. I try my best to keep these rings too. So, wow, that was perfect timing too. Cause I, I was hope I was afraid he was gonna go over there. What not? So, I'm trying. I want to beat him quickly, but of course he's just gonna just, you know. Do that crap, and, I'm, and I have to like wait a little bit. Oh my God! Screw you, Eggman. All right, Tails, help me out here, buddy. Oh, okay, that backfired. I'm sorry, he's dead though. See, now I couldn't move there because Eggman basically gets destroyed. So there we go. I tried to see if I could do something with Tails there, but honestly, using Tails' partner moves doesn't really help with these boss battles though. You'll get, you'll pay for this or whatever Eggman said there. So um. I, I just like when Eggman just says that and he just leaves with the robot, so. And there's our, um, another, um, metal here. So there you go. So that, I, I really like how it just shows all, all this rainbow here. Like, it's crazy. Jeez. So there you go. Sonic Tails versus Boss Clear. Like, wow. And I got, um, the bronze medal there. So, <coughs> And look at that, I like how Sonic and Tails just like run. It's just crazy how it's all, they're always running like that too. Pretty awesome. But look at where we are now. So here's Sunset Hill Zone and listen to the music. Just just listen.
I mean, I'm sure you guys are, are recognize what the song is. Yeah, it sounds just like Green Hill Zone, but this was honestly like, I don't know if it was the first time I ever heard the Green, like, Green Hill Zone music, honestly, believe it or not. But, um, well, no, maybe not, but I, I may have heard Green Hill Zone music before, like, before. But I just, I don't know, somehow I just mostly remember hearing this nonstop because I used to play this a lot. So, I don't know, it's crazy, though. So, it, honestly, whenever I play, whenever I do play, like, like any, any Green Hill Zone, honestly, like, some parts of the song reminds me of this game. I couldn't remember. I almost forgot that this, so this, this they really used this Green Hill Zone music, though. It, it, it even looks like Green Hill Zone, but they just call it Sunset, Sunset Hill Zone. It's pretty crazy. So, um, and you guys see it's like Sunset in the background. It always shows the same cloud design in the background every time you're in a uh, different HUD area. So, um, but yeah, we basically made it here to the second zone of the game. So, um, pretty cool, though. I'm gonna stick with stick with Sonic as the main main guy, but here I'm gonna show you guys how how it looks if you play as Tails as the leader. Like we're just gonna select Tails, right? And then Sonic. Okay. Tails, and Sonic. Tails and Sonic. It's pretty cool though. So now you get to play as Tails as well, and all that. So it's pretty cool. You know, if you, you use Tails to attack. You can do like Tail Whip and all that, and then you can fly with Tails. So pretty cool. You know. So obviously like how how it is usually. But, here's the thing. You do the partner thing with Sonic here. Tails gets to hold on to Sonic like a ball. And look at that. That's what's awesome too. Like, whenever you have Sonic as the partner, you, you can go fast with him like that. So look at that. And that's like pretty amazing. So, um, <laughs> up here is our Chow. So there we go. So there's our Chow that we found at the HUD area. So I couldn't figure out how to get to Chow in, on the, um, at the Route 99 map though. I don't, I don't know where the heck he's at, but... If that's the case, here I'm gonna I'm gonna check at the, at the Chow Playground real quick, and then I'm gonna end off this um, first episode here. So um, but basically, if you go in here, there's our Chow here. I forgot to show you guys demonstrate that, but yeah, this is our only Chow we got um for well for Zone Two that is Chow Cow One. So it'll, it'll always say what zone it is though. It kind of bothers me, bothers me how this, we have like this big box in the way. Like I like like can, can this box get out of the way, please? Like I can't. I want to see. I I want to see the full like the full room. You know, like I want like it's it's like hard to see like everything like up, like up here, but it's whatever. So, but you guys see right here. Look at all these chow I already got for the first zone, and then there's zone two where I got the map, the one um for the map. So it's it's very it's very interesting and very cool though. I never got all the chow though, and I don't know if I ever will. But if you were to go if you want to go back to route 99, you just go right in here. And it'll just send you to Route 99 just like that. So, and yep, you just go out like that. So it's pretty cool though overall. And I truly love it. So, but overall though, I mean, I mean, the HUD worlds and the partners. Oh, I do not want to go back into Act Two, but it's whatever. Luckily, since I beat the level already and I got the bronze medal there, um, just go back and then they're back here. So, yep, just go back. Only, only if you beat the level though, you can go back. But. Of course, if you didn't beat the level, you're, you're, it'll just say pause, unfortunately. What? Wait. This is not the boss. Wait a minute. I don't remember this. Or wait, no. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. We already beat that. I, I got confused. I, I legit thought it was something different. But that's right. We already we already beat... Oh, wait, never mind. We're going to go get sucked back in here. But we already beat the boss, basically. So that's what it is. I was confused. But, um, we're not going to go in there, though. <laughs> so... I guess Eggman, I guess the symbol will look normal if you don't beat it yet, and then after you beat it, it'll just show, like, you know, Eggman with X eyes and all that, so. Yeah, so, um, I apologize if this was a pretty sloppy first episode. I try to do it, do the best I can here, but let's just see if I can figure out where this chow is real quick, and then we can go and just call it a day. <laughs> so, um, if not, ah, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out later. So, either way, this is gonna pretty much be a wrap here for this first episode of Sonic Advance 3. You know, um, my favorite Sonic Advance game, like I've been saying. So, um, but I, I just truly love this game. This game just, like, this game really defines my childhood, honestly. Like, I used to play this game all the time. So, um, but at least this is a game I'm mostly familiar with, though. So it's not like I'm going to be struggling too much, even though I did die twice. But, no, either way, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I, I, I mean, next episode I should be okay, you know. 
you'll see. You'll see how I'll, I'll, I'll do better. I'll, I'll, I'll be better than what, what you guys just saw. So, and there's two right here. So just go in here. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys the Chow playground real quick. But um, so here's how all the Chow are. So there they are. They all are here basically. So that's basically how it is there. It's pretty cool, you know. So it's always different whenever depending on what zone you're at. So sometimes it's confusing too, you know, when you're in that factory area too. Cause you don't know what you're not gonna know what zone you're at, but at least it'll it'll always show it. Even if you're in the factory, it'll always show on the bottom left, bottom right corner right there, zone two, Sunset Hill. So it's pretty cool though. So at least Act One is right here, so you just go straight over here and then just do the stage and all that. But we're not gonna do that right now. So I'm gonna end it off here for you guys. So I thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out other videos. And in the next episode, we will go and take on the second zone in the game, Sunset Hill. And, um, I guess it's pretty much like, I mean, I mean, there's some differences compared to regular Green Hill Zone, for sure. I mean, it's definitely different, but, um, it, you guys see how the, you, have, you have these tree, these flowers and all that, which is similar to Green Hill Zone. Obviously, the music is just like Green Hill Zone, practically, you know? It's pretty, it's, it's pretty much the same, except it's a little, you know, it's, it's more different, you know? Like, more Game Boy, you know, obviously, they changed it up, obviously, so... But overall, it's very—it's just very awesome, though. Like, I truly just love this game. Like, seriously. I also have to point out something else too: is that um, we finally don't have to worry about like we, we don't have to always um because um you guys know it's not Advance Two where when, whenever before you start a stage, it'll always it'll, you're always like get, you you always get like this boost at the very beginning. You can't move unless until it says three, two, one, start, and all that. Like, cause I, cause I'm I always I'm always ready to just move as soon as the stage starts. But Sonic Advance 2, you have to actually wait until it actually tells you to go. It's it's this is cuckoo. But luckily here, um, you don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> so um, it's like <coughs> it's like Sonic Advance 2. It's always about like speed and running and running and running. That's why we were always running while fighting Eggman. It was ridiculous. So, but luckily here we don't have to worry about that. You know we don't have to worry about all the running anymore. It's kind of like Sonic Advance 1, but you know, obviously better. Best Sonic Advance game in my opinion. Like I. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys already know. So, <coughs> I'm done here. So, I'm just going to wrap it up here for you guys. So, other than that, though, this Friday on the 20th anniversary of this game, I will be basically taking on this next zone. So, I, I still have a lot more to say, but we're going to save it for, you know, future episodes, obviously. So, other than that, though, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching.